So this week we're looking in the Word of God in Proverbs chapter 6, beginning in verse uh, 16, looking at verse 17. Uh, this week as we look through this as the six things that God hates and the seven things that are an abomination unto him. And so we looked at the haughty eyes last week, the, the, the eyes of pride. And today, uh, as we're looking at this, or yesterday we looked at the haughty eyes, today we're looking at the fact that God hates a lying tongue, and a lying tongue is an abomination abomination unto God. It is an outright abomination unto God. And so as we begin to look and understand that the lying tongue comes from a deceptive heart, a deceitful heart, a heart that is full of wickedness that conjures up all sorts of lies and produces those lies out of the mouth because of the wickedness of the heart, thinking that everybody else in the world is going to be full foolish enough to believe those lies. Now I want you to understand that the Bible says that nothing that is done in secret or everything rather that is done in secret is going to be brought out to the light. Everything that's done in darkness is going to be brought out to the light. And you know, we, we, we recognize that to be sure your sins are going to find you out and the easiest one to discover is a lying tongue. And really, the one that lies, the one that goes around lying all of the time, the only one they're really lying to is themselves because everybody else knows that they're a liar. Everybody else knows that the deceit that's coming out of their mouth, it, it is absolutely false. There's no truth to it. There's no validity to it. And you can't trust them at all. They're untrustworthy people. And so when we begin to think about this, you think, you know, people think, well, if you tell enough, tell the same lie enough times, eventually people are going to believe it. And there's an element of truth into that. But God hates that. God hates that form of wickedness of the lying tongue. And that lying tongue, you know, the Bible says that liars won't inherit the kingdom of heaven. This doesn't mean that People who's told lies before won't enter the kingdom of heaven. But the liars, that's a definition of who they are. They're unrepented. They're liars or deceitful people. Liars will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. He gives a generic form here of a lying tongue, but he also talks later on in verse 19, he says, a false witness who utters lies. So not only are they a liar, not only do they have a lying tongue, but they lie about other people. They're a false witness. They come up with lies about other people for the purpose of trying to tear them down, to try to tear down their credibility, to try to tear down their integrity, to try to tear down their witness. There's all sorts of reasons and possibilities of why they do that, but ultimately when it comes down to it, they're lying about the other individual to try to make themselves look better when inevitably they're going to be discovered as being a liar and their own credibility is going to be ruined. And so when we listen to liars, we don't need to continue to listen to those lies where they're eventually going to prevail. But until we see some fruit of repentance within their life, we don't need to listen to a word they have to say. And cast them as far away from us as we possibly can. And sometimes we've been told so many lies, we don't know what the truth is. Well, here's the truth right here. If you've been told a lie about somebody else, you need to seek it out. Is there validity to it? Is there truth behind it? Or is it a lie? And the truth is usually pretty easily seen. We certainly don't need to repeat that lie. But if God hates a lying tongue enough to where liars will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, friend, that one with that lying tongue, there's only one thing that he needs to do. He needs to repent. He needs to turn to Jesus. He needs to trust in Jesus, he or she. Ask Jesus to forgive them of their sins and invite Jesus into their life to be their Lord and to be their Savior. That's their only hope. God hates a lying tongue, 
Liars will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So they need to repent and turn to Jesus and trust in Jesus before it's everlasting too late.